Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, make sure you come back every day. We're off to the car to go to the cardiologist. Oh gosh. Peter told me to do a calm clip after his chaotic intro. So it's actually just about time for Teddy to take a little nap. So it's gonna hopefully snooze. Um, we are driving downtown. The doctor's office is on Michigan Avenue. So we're just gonna park um, and stroll on over to the cardiologist. Well, that's the plan, it's a gorgeous day. What's the temperature? 62 and sunny. You can see the, the John Hancock like through the, the sunroof. Um, yeah, our pediatrician said all of the possible options are all things that will be simple and like resolve themselves. So I just want to know what it is and then I'll feel better. We are parked next to where we got engaged. How cute. Um, by the drink. By the drink, yeah. yeah. See, there's our car. Um, so yeah, we're gonna... 30 minutes until appointment, but they should probably get there early to fill out paperwork, because we've never been to a cardiologist before, Teddy. So we're gonna walk Sarah and Teddy to the doctor, which is over in the Neiman Marcus building. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then James and I are gonna go and hunt for a fall jacket. Yeah. Or maybe like a sweet treat or something, because it's know. stressful when your siblings go to heart specialists. You want a snack? <laughs> Mama's got, Mama's oh, almost yeah, hungry. Pit stop. Do we fit? Yes. We're going to Lavaza at the Drake. Alrighty, the boys got a leek croissant and I got a spinach and feta croissant. Oh, they're not plant based. <laughs> we, just, we don't even think. Oh, gosh. Now it's just Jamesy and myself. Sarah and Teddy went up to the doctor. They're gonna be texting me. We're gonna stay somewhere in the area. There's an H&M nearby. We're gonna start there to search for James's fall jacket. But I want to show you what the city is doing. So here we are on wonderful Michigan Avenue and check it out. They are getting ready to fallify Michigan Avenue right here. And I even think some trees are getting their lights put on in prep for Christmas lights for the Christmas Lights Festival that hosted by Mickey Mouse around uh, December time. So they kind of get it all ready at one time. Oh yeah. Oh, we're at H&M now. Heading up to the third floor. This is trouble. I want to buy everything. Look at this one. Look at that. I need it all. Okay. Came for a jacket. We're leaving with all this. But it's all cute. Alrighty, Teddy did so good. We just finished up the EKG um, and we're just waiting for the doctor to come in to let us know, take a better listen. Um, but I wanted to show you this cool room with these wall graphics. Clifford, wild things. All right, since that trip went well, probably better than well with the other items we found. Um, we're gonna go straight to this park. It's actually a block or two over from the doctor's office. Okay, this is not the park I saw on the map, but I think this is the park that we're gonna go play at. As long as it's not like a daycare park, it looks like it's part of a. Yep. It's a heck of a park. Let's go. Look at this. Look at how beautiful it is. It's like a. This is like a true fall Chicago day. Look at it. Like you think you're in the city of cement and iron and everything. We got the. Cultural center across the street is beautiful. Pigeons and birds and this wonderful, wonderful park. This is basically a James E. size park, a slash AG park. A little slightly older for some of the things, but a lot of the things are his age. Oh, you want me to come with? Come on. James, look. 
Oh, hello, peekaboo. <laughs> peekaboo. We should put your new jacket on. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Abu. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. All right, we're all back together again. Did you give an update, Sarah? Did you update the vlog? Okay, so everything's okay. Mm, they're, they think they found the reason for the heart murmur, but it's an innocent heart murmur. He has cords in one of his chambers, but that's not anything to concern about. And the part where one of his chambers should have closed by four months is like basically closed, but somewhat not. But they said we only have to go to check again if he wants to go scuba diving. So nothing to, no way to, no reason to change the way we live or to be concerned. So now this big kid needs to take a nap because he went through the ringer, EKG, ultrasound. What a morning. Well, 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 look at this. What's this about? Wizarding World, Harry Potter Magic at Play, Adventure Experience, Discover Coming November. I wonder if it's going to be like, it's with, that's the official Wizarding World logo, so I wonder if it's going to be like as well done as New York. New York. But that's also a permanent, and I feel like this won't, maybe this is permanent. If it's permanent, it's definitely going to be as well as like Diagon Alley and Universal in New York. Yeah. Wow. If it's permanent, it's gonna, wow, you see that? Wow. All right, so we're gonna go back up north because we realized it's our very last Cubs game that we can go to. And I think Sarah might not even be coming. It might just be me and yeah, James show. I need to edit Wednesday's vlog. We're a little bit behind, so we're gonna, I'll see. But before we leave, we're gonna go to the, the Drake gift shop because it's our favorite thing ever. <laughs> it's like our very favorite seasonal place in Chicago. Ooh. No big deal. Walt Disney needs to hang out here. Right? Yeah. Who's on Oktoberfest? Bourbon riblets. Not big whiskey barbecue ribs coleslaw. Wow. Oh my gosh. Spooky, so cute. Oh, I love that. Mm, that's a little, a little, a little next level creepy. So spooky. little flying witches. All right, I got my Rockford Peaches hat on from last night. We're gonna try to do something. James is still asleep. I have him with me in the stroller. I don't believe our city mini is allowed in Wrigley. And I don't want to wake up James anyway because he's too big for a carrier now. Or else I would have like put him on a carrier and just like sat in the seats. But it's our last chance to go to the game at Wrigley. We're not 100% on re renewing our seats because we're trying to buy a house down in Florida next spring, and we're trying to live in both places. It's a lot of construction. Please hold. All right, a little better. Um, so since we don't know, we believe, like, if our plan goes, if everything goes according to our plan, we would be in Chicago for, like, a third to a half of the season. So we would be able to experience those games, and then we would just try to, like, sell the other ones. That's like the leading logic of, uh, for us to renew. I think we would change our seats, go to a cheaper section, maybe downgrade from four tickets to two tickets. We learned a lot about this year, about like how often friends and family would be able to go, um, how often we would be able to feasibly go with these little kids. Um, so really fun season. I loved the experience. If this is our only season ever being season ticket holders, I'll remember for the rest of my life. And I loved being able to go to the friendly confines as much as we did. Um, but yes, I don't know if our strollers are allowed. I actually, the website says only like umbrella folded ones are allowed, but I've seen recently in during some of the games, like some of the bigger strollers allowed in. I'm not even trying to go to our seats if James is staying asleep. I just want to go into 
Gart Gallagher Way, which is typically closed off during the game, but I have tickets. And so I'm wondering, I'm like, I'm like hey, can you just let me in Gallagher Way? I wanna hang out, watch the, the game on the Jumbotron here, Wrigley Field. And if James wakes up, maybe, maybe we'll get ourselves into the field. Unless he some, somehow wakes up on the way to Wrigley, but it's only about a 10 minute walk. So that would not be a good nap for him. So it's like, we're making the best of the situation, but. All right, I just heard some cheers. Two runs just came in. Look at this. I love it. While Peter and James are at Wrigley, Teddy and I are home. I'm gonna edit the vlog, but I'm making this Trader Joe's Tabuki, which Phil Rosenthal on Somebody Feed Phil eats when he's in Korea. And it's super spicy and I'm really excited about it. Just threw it on the stove top, but yeah. I'm gonna treat myself to a little tabuki. Oh my goodness. It's so spicy. Like I, if you know me, I love spicy. I'm, I, I can barely eat it. It's so, so spicy. It's so tasty. Flavor is so great. My mouth, my mouth is on fire. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna save the rest for Peter. I was like gonna eat that whole thing, but I cannot. All right, we are in. And from the confines, I got in with the stroller. They asked if it would fit underneath a seat. I said, not only will it fit underneath the seat, I actually got it its own seat. Kind of joking around, but it's only me and him for our four seats today, so we have the space. Snooze, it's actually pretty quiet up here. Cool breeze, but a beautiful day on the friendly confines. from his nap at the Cubbies game. <laughs> so I decided because I finished editing, not everything is up yet, um, but it's our last game. I'm gonna power walk on over to Wrigley, even though it's like basically two innings left. Um, but Teddy's awake. He still got a sticker from yesterday. Looking cute. But yeah, we had a good time yesterday at our game and that I'm like fine with that being mine and Teddy's last game um but if we could just get in there and sing go cubs go one one more time um it's worth me walking on over so hopefully hopefully the game's not over by the time i get there jamesy with only two outs left in the game um, teddy got into wrigley field so now just we have to hope for everybody to cooperate during our photo Wonderful end to our season at the Cubs Hi. home Wrigley Field. That we, was great. We I hope ordered, you guys like coming along. <laughs> yeah. We ordered chicken. <laughs> <laughs> we ordered a Chicago diner for dinner. You which got is chicken vegan. On your mind? They got chicken on your mind. Yeah, we we just passed crispy things. chicks. Yeah. We stuck to the plant based. Yes. And yes. okay, we're going to grab it and then go to my sister's house. Well, we're going to eat it at home first. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Then we need snacks. Oh, we bringing the snacks? That, that was controversial. We faced our sister was like, all right, we're going to have a hocus pocus party. These snacks. But we have to get, someone has to acquire the snacks. Yeah. We'll recall her on the drive back and I can run to the jewel on the south side yeah. if we need the snacks. And then we're going to watch hocus pocus too. Yes. All right, here we go. We have jalapeno corn fritters, waffle fries. This is my Reuben. This is James's grilled cheese, French fries. We have some uh, street corn Cheetos. Cheetos. Sarah's black, black bean, bean burger, and then she got soup with some quinoa. It's chili. Oh, chili with some quinoa. Uh -oh. Hey, 
What's going on over there? <laughs> Look at this sunset over Lake Michigan. The traffic doesn't even feel like traffic. Peter's typical hand on his fist while driving upset. <laughs> no, you're not that upset right now. No, no, I mean, I'm... you're getting some fresh air. Smell the beautiful cleanliness of the Lake Michigan. James is a little conflicted though because we put on Christmas Miss Rachel for our Christmas representation of the day while he's wearing Halloween jammies. <laughs> oh, this kid's got all matching jammies on. And also look at this display of snacks. Christina, we're actually so full. That's okay. But I'm definitely gonna eat some of those pizza. Those, those pizza pockets? What are those called? Pizza puffs? No, pizza. P pizza. Rolls. Yeah, I wanted to get those the other day when we were at Jewel. But, you know. And yesterday when we were walking home. Pumpkin, you're right. We were walking home from somewhere yesterday. I looked in a window and people were making. Oh. Yes. Chasing after each other. Run, Luca, run. Run. <laughs> run, run, run. <laughs> Eat your cookie. Your cousin's coming. You better go, go, go. <laughs> All right. We did not film much after we watched Hocus Pocus 2. It's three days later, but I'm editing now. Um, it's been a crazy so, couple days. Yeah, here is our review of Hocus Pocus 2. A B. B. I think we I think a B. We like the storyline. Yes. Okay, this is also coming from people who watch Hocus Pocus more than maybe any other movie I've ever watched. It's probably arguably true. Yeah. Um, it's, it's like ingrained into my body. I went into it the expectation of it's going to ruin Hocus Pocus 1. And it's going to be the worst thing that was ever created. And I'm going to not even want to watch Hocus Pocus 1. So coming you went from into that thinking it was yeah, gonna be that yeah wow yeah so that was, was my bar so worried. it only could go up for me. <laughs> <laughs> I was more so just basically what I was worried about did happen. The Sanderson sisters have become such a spectacle and like such like caricatures, like these extreme personalities that I felt like the three actresses were like playing the characters instead of just being. Them, being them themselves, of being like the being the characters, like it felt like they were trying too hard to be what these sisters have become in our, you know, like the cult the classic cultural. versions of themselves, not the actual. Right, like they, I just wish that they were. Like I was just like, just don't try so hard. I really liked the storyline. All the other characters were really cute, and I really liked. I, the only other thing was like I think the style felt like today's Disney Channel movies. Whereas, like, I like the gritty yeah. 90s Hocus Pocus. I think we'll watch it every year. Mm -hmm. I don't think we'll watch it multiple times a year. And definitely not out of October. Yeah, Halloween where we'll just, like, put Hocus Pocus yeah. on. So, we weren't disappointed. No, I thought I was going to burn my dreams down. So, it didn't do that. So, <laughs> but it was it's a what win I for me. But I was worried about being how it was. But because I was pleasantly surprised by so much of the other details of the movie... I, what, I didn't turn it off. We have watched it a second time, kind of, slash in the background. More so me and James. Right. And so it's, it was cute. I don't think it was necessary, but it was fun. <laughs> what did you think? This is your generation, so let's go. Just kidding. We can all share the first one. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, 
It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.